Sorry for the interruption, but it is super important. If you desire to have a podcast, don't be afraid. Use Spotify for podcasters. It's what I use. Go to anchor.fm. It's free. And get your voice out there. The world needs to hear your wisdom, your experiences, your love. So don't be afraid. Go share your love. What is your meaning and purpose for the things that you do every single day? When you wake up and you thank the Lord, when your feet hit the ground for one more day, what are you thanking him for? Thank you for just having me be alive? Or is it, thank you, Lord, for another day where I can evangelize and bring you to me in my life and bring you to those around me in my life? That is really our mission, our meaning and our purpose. And when we look at our lives, we've got to be able to identify those things that don't help us on the journey. And I like to look at them in the soul, mind, and body categories. So if you want to learn more about the soul, mind, and body community, and I'm going to keep bringing this up for a while, everyone, because I really do want you to have a place where you feel not only comfortable, but you feel like you're loved and you're prayed for and that other people are going through the exact same thing that you are, which is the case. However, their story and their life will be a wee bit different, but most of us have dealt or are dealing with the same things. It doesn't matter if you've never prayed before. It doesn't matter If you've never done mental prayer, if you've never tried to control your thoughts, it doesn't matter if you've never worked out a day in your life or you really have just kicked the whole healthy lifestyle thing out of your life for so many decades that you don't even know how to begin. It also doesn't matter if you're an awesome exercise guru who does it every day. There are things in every single one of our lives that we can work on every single day that God will tell us to work on in our life where we have that meaning and purpose. So I feel God calling me to fast. Uh, We're looking at one week, everyone, from today May 1st, coming right around the corner. This is the Soul, Mind, and Body first 21-day challenge, one of many that we will have, one of many, and I cannot wait. But I also know that things are a little bit crazy for me. I'm not exactly sure what happened in April. It was a blur, and I know it's not over yet, but from The moment that we kind of slid the end of Lent into Easter, and then I had the eight days of complete oblivion. I had no idea what I was doing with myself. I was just completely flying on autopilot back in my own sub-programmed mindset. Then, before I know it, we're packing up and going down to Atlanta, which was not the plan. We weren't going to go until May. So that was a flip up flip up of our schedule, unexpected, but it was an awesome journey. It was a great time, a lot of working out and a lot of paying attention and shifting in a whole new environment back to my lifestyle, back to a place that I feel my body works best, my mind works best, my heart works best. And then we come home We have two dogs that we have to watch for a couple of days, and now we're flipping around very quickly, and we're leaving again for Nebraska on Thursday to help the ranchers with branding their cows. So it's an insane time. 
which is why I did not want to start the soul, mind, and body now. But why not start in the midst of life? Because there's no time like the present to make a positive change in our lives. Why wouldn't we want to be that person who wakes up every day and cannot wait to get in it? Cannot wait to love people, has such joy and zeal for life that we are going to be that evangelist. Even if we don't mention the word God, we're just going to love people in a way that attracts them to God through us because the Holy Spirit is projecting himself through us to others. Okay, so we're looking at a week. I've been sitting here with God and I said, all right, it's time to do another fast. But if you remember my first fast in January, it was not a spiritual fast. At that time, I was reading and researching all of this stuff about my body, about my chemical reactions, about the mind-body connection. And I wanted to see, could I get into autophagy, which means to eat thyself, and could my body begin to repair itself? Now, I was already doing a lot of intermittent fasting, almost a month or two of OMAD, where I was eating one meal a day. So it's really important And we're going to get into this in a lot more detail in the membership group. But if you're kind of following along, and you will be able to follow along to a degree on the podcast and such and other YouTube general videos, but we're going to get into specifically what happens when you don't eat. And it takes about 48 hours for a typical healthy body. And most people are not healthy. So when I first started my fast January 1st, I went for five days, nine hours, and that was because I felt so good. I could have gone longer. And if you remember, when I went into my physical, which was in the middle of my fast, for the first time in many, many years since they started taking or testing for this during my PAP exam, which is a lady exam, I had the HPV virus for many, 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 many years, and I couldn't, my body couldn't fight it off. Why? Because my body's sick. My body is still sick. I still have autoimmune disease issues. I have vitiligo on my hands where they don't have pigment, so they're white hands. Remember Michael Jackson when he started wearing that glove on his right hand. He started that because he started getting vitiligo on his hand. And so looking at my body is one thing, and that was the way that I approached it in January. But today it's a different idea. The meaning and purpose behind my fasting is about enlightenment. I want to clear my mind, my soul, my body of anything so that I can have it A, repair itself and B, when I am in prayer and when I am doing some of these things over the next couple of days before I go to Nebraska, all of this is for the membership group. And honestly, if you're toying with the membership group, I would love to encourage you to try it for one month. It's $4.99 and you will have 21 days of coaching, specifically soul, mind, and body and how you should be looking at every single day. You will have a great platform. And if you're not wild about it and you're like, okay, I didn't really get anything out of it. Stop it. Cancel it. I don't care. But take advantage of it and learn and take those things and put them in your life. That's what this is all about. And we will do 
many, many more challenges. We're going to get into behavioral changes. We're going to get into how do you repair relationships in your life? How do you forgive people? You've heard me say some stuff on podcasts, but nothing that goes truly into the depth that you need to apply into your life. Because a 10-minute podcast, even a 15, 20-minute one, when we're really diving into a topic, this is why I created the membership group, because I think people want to go deeper. And maybe you have questions. Maybe you got specific stuff that's going on with this specific relationship that you just cannot get over. So it's more of a two-way kind of communication. And with that in mind, I just wanted to thank a couple of more people, excuse me, who have joined and I can't remember them off of the top of my head. So I'm going to look up their names and say their names tomorrow because that is a part of the family. We want to introduce people that come on board to the others so that everyone's like, okay, cool. I've got a core net group of people that are trying to be better individuals in their current state of life and do what God called us, which was to get out there and evangelize, to make disciples, be disciples, and honestly stand on our own two feet with the Lord and walk in his light so that people start seeing us, looking at us differently and saying, hey, I want some of that. Alrighty, let's pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we know our meaning and purpose is to love you, to love ourselves, and to love everyone around us. So we need your help. We need your help to love ourselves so that we can help ourselves with you, with your grace so that we can get past this stronghold, this negative aspect of our lives, so that we can find that freedom and that empowerment in you and in your strength and your courage and succeed finally in the places where we have failed so many times because we did not invite you in. Every day, Lord, we need you. Every day, we need to surrender our lives to you as we do right now. We give you our life, our hands held up to the sky, to the heavens. Lord, please take all of our issues. We give them to you. We lay them at the foot of the cross and we ask for your help. Please come into our life in a big way. Jesus, in your name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, I'm putting the link again. I will always put the link in here for the short term future, if you will, to join the membership community. We're going to be talking about preparation. I was going to say preparing and preparation at the same time, but we need to prepare for May 1st. What are we going to do? How are you going to do it? This is not a menu. We are going to make it completely customized to you because you're at a different spot than I am. And I'm at a different spot than another person that's listening to this. And that's the beauty of this journey. It's not a one size fits all. We're all designed fundamentally as human beings But we all have very different genetics, very different upbringings, emotionally and physically. And we today are very different people because of everything that has happened in our lives up until now. And I mean it in the categories of soul, mind, and body. By the way, watch my recent video on YouTube. It says, life is a three-legged stool. So it's time to get into balance, soul, mind, and body. Those are the three legs. 
And on that thumbnail of the YouTube video, so the picture that's on the front of the YouTube video, it breaks down soul, mind, and body. The things that need to be in balance in order for us to be healthy, happy, and holy. So go watch that video and look at all of the things that I put down under the soul, mind, and body and think about it. And you will come to that epiphany. You will have your eyes opened that darn it, I do need all three of these things in my life in a big, big way. I cannot wait till May 1st. But anyway, I want to get back. I didn't say one thing. So I am fasting now for this membership group. It's not about me understanding how my body works without food. I've been there, done that. This one is, Lord, I need to empty myself. Empty myself in a soul, mind, and body way so that you can fill me so that this membership group and this first 21 day challenge is about you, Lord, and what you want us all to work on. It's not just making my journey your journey. It's making your life God's life. If that makes any sense, because it's not about me. It's just me sharing what God has done through me. Now we need to figure out what do we need to do with God and you. And that's where prayer comes in. That's where your relationship deepening with him comes in. That's where your mind and your body come into play and you realize, okay, this is how the game is won with all three components working together. Okay. And the meaning and purpose is all about loving God, loving others, loving ourselves. Remember joy, Jesus, others, you. The two greatest commandments, Jesus first, you and others. I mean, it's basically the same formula said in a couple of different ways. And that is how this works. We all know we need God in order to love ourselves and love others. So what and how will that work in your life? We even learn differently. I'm a more visual person. Other people are more word people. Other people listen. Some people need all three. So we're all different in so many ways, but we can all take the basics of what God has taught us in his word and in how he lived here on this earth and make it ours. And with God, who knows us more than ourselves, think about what we could do. Think about the changes and the impact that we can have not only on our lives, but those in our lives or who we come across in our path. So amazing. All righty. I love you all. Find something more. Soul, mind, and body. Or I'm thinking maybe for the membership group, it could be life is a three-legged stool. Get into balance. Soul, mind, and body. I don't know. You guys tell me which one you like somehow, some way. Maybe I'll put a poll in this particular Yeah, I'll put a poll in this uh, podcast. So let me know. I don't know which one works. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I love you all, everyone. Have a blessed and inspired day. Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power. And hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame, and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. 
So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today.